Hello, and thanks for checking out this video. We want to introduce you to a toolkit developed by the National Human Genome Research Institute, also known as NHGRI. This toolkit will give you information about some of the best practices to identify and evaluate trainee outcomes in biomedical and genomic research programs. My name is Dr. Lucia Hindorf, and I'm the Lead Extramural Training Program Director with the Training, Diversity, and Health Equity Office, or TIDE. I'm here with Dr. Faith Plant, the Training Director within the Intramural Training Office here at NHGRI. We're excited to tell you about the toolkit, but first we want to give a brief background about NHGRI, TIDE, as well as our Diversity Action Agenda and Strategic Vision. NHGRI is dedicated to cultivating a diverse pool of future researchers, clinician scientists, healthcare providers, and educators. For many years, NHGRI has supported training and workforce development programs with a core commitment to enhance the diversity of the biomedical workforce. NHGRI's education and career training opportunities are done in collaboration with NHGRI's Extramural Research Program, Intramural Training Office, Education and Community Involvement Branch, as well as external partners such as professional societies. In 2021, NHGRI published an action agenda to enhance the diversity of the genomics workforce. This action agenda reflects a framework to connect early exposure to genetics, undergraduate and graduate efforts, and career development activities to careers in genomics and a greater diversity in the overall genomics workforce. NHGRI also established a new office dedicated to training, diversity, and health equity, called TIDE, which now includes NHGRI's extramural training portfolio. In collaboration with the divisions and offices in the extramural program, the training team develops and supports initiatives that expand opportunities for genomics education and careers, and cultivates genomic training programs and workforce development initiatives for all individuals including those from groups underrepresented in biomedical research. As part of these efforts, we have developed this toolkit to help programs all over the country learn more about best practices for evaluating training programs related to genomic workforce diversity, research, and genomic workforce programs. The hope is that this toolkit will be instrumental in supporting you in monitoring the success of participants in training programs you lead, support, or are a part of. For some of you who are already deep in the process of implementing evaluation efforts, we hope this toolkit will complement your ongoing efforts. For others who are newer to the evaluation process or who are looking to reinvigorate your existing process, we hope that the toolkit will be a source of ideas. This toolkit should be regarded as a first effort in gathering information about evidence-based efforts related to trainee outcomes. So what's inside the toolkit? Within this PowerPoint, you will find valuable information about how trainee success can be measured examples of successful practices for following trainees' careers, and some details on why these matter. You'll also learn about metrics to measure trainee outcomes and success, barriers to identifying and evaluating trainee outcomes, as well as an overview of common methods used for data collection. We've even given you some suggestions about how to design an effective trainee evaluation system for yourself. If you're interested, you can also check out the supplemental report, which provides more in-depth information on each section within the toolkit, including references, methodology, and lots of other details. Here at NHGRI, the success of trainees really matters to us. We need to continue to grow a vibrant, successful, and diverse genomics workforce to be successful in all facets of genetics and genomics. We hope you enjoy the content of this toolkit. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.